Welcome to Talking Straight on Nationalist Hub. I am Suresh Kochatan. The West, in the name of democracy and free speech, have been giving shelter to various Indian separatist leaders. One of the most wanted Khalisani terrorists, Panu, is currently residing in America. Several countries like Canada, Germany, US and UK are not only giving shelter to these kind of separatist leaders, but are also preaching India about Kashmir. Recent comments by the German Foreign Minister on Kashmir have once again proved that the West is fueling separatist moments in India. Despite raising the issue numerous times, Western governments have not taken any action against these separatists. Why would they? These separatists are humiliating Indian government on the global stage. They are challenging the sovereignty of India. The West fuel this kind of movement as they don't want India to become too powerful. It's already made a mistake by raising China. It doesn't want to repeat the same mistake again. So they would do everything they can to create obstacles in India's growth. While India is overcoming these odds and is heading towards a $5 trillion economy, it has also got to think about teaching these Western countries which are fueling secessionist movements in India. But how? Well, there is a way. Do you know there are parts in the United States and Germany that want to become independent? Many of us don't know as the Western media doesn't want to put this spotlight on the issue. That doesn't mean that there are no such moments. Let me explain two such moments in this video and how India can use them in their favor to give these countries their own taste of their own medicine. Let's start with America. The United States of America is the only superpower for decades. Although it's on a declining spree now, the United States still has a strong clout over the Western media. This is why Sessionist movement is not getting any spotlight in those countries, unlike other parts of the world. I know what you're thinking. America and Secession? That's like the Sessionist movement doesn't exist in America. You know which state demands this secession? It is Texas. Texas wants to secede from the US. And other Republican lawmakers have also, like Ted Cruz has done, have been supporting this. Not only this, a bill on secession was brought about on the table in 2021, but it was not heard. This didn't dilute the matter. The Republican Party affiliate, the Republican Party of Texas, is planning to introduce a referendum in 2023 to secede from the United States. For starters, Texas was a sovereign state before it was annexed in 1845. Not only Texas, but several citizens from Southern America want their states to secede from the United States. Several experts predict that the secessionist movement in America may see momentum ahead of the 2022 midterm polls. A poll conducted last year in America showed that more than 37% of the respondents expressed the willingness to secede from the United States. The poll said to support the secession was one of the South America's highest. Since the voice of secession is still in a minority, it's not getting much of a spotlight. But as I said earlier, if such secessionist movement spread to different states and get the support that is required from the lawmakers, then it will be a problem for America to stay mum. Now let's come to Germany, the European powerhouse that said that it supports an engagement between India and Pakistan for a peaceful solution to Jammu and Kashmir. The European country once went ahead and even said that it will play the crucial role of the peace process maker. Since the matter went to the United Nations in 1948, India is left with no choice but to handle this issue diplomatically. In fact, it already gave a strong response to Germany regarding these statements. But that is not what we should talk about. Similar to the secessionist movements in America, Germany has its own problems. There is one state from southern Germany that wants independence from Brexit and it's not Bavaria. It's Bavaria. There are so many differences between Bavarian culture and Germany. Let me tell you a few. Well, Bavaria has 13 public holidays per year. Germany has only nine. That's because Germany follows the Protestantism, while Bavaria recognizes the Catholic tradition. 
Not only that, Bavaria has one of the richest economies of any region in Germany or any other European country. It comprises 20% of Germany's GDP. Be it tradition or language, Bavaria is completely different and distinct from Germany. This is the reason why it demanded a breakaway in 2016, but was rejected by the courts. This didn't send the Bavarian nationalism, actually didn't end there at all. Among the people, there is even a feeling today that Bavarian identity should be seen and heard. First, Germany. Now, did you observe that the two countries, the secessionist movement, that is America and Germany, it has no support because if these governments deal with these kind of issues, they deal it with a very firm hand. But the same governments preach India to discuss the issue of Jammu and Kashmir with Pakistan. While India calls Pakistan occupied Kashmir, the American government calls it the Azad Kashmir. This clearly shows that America is fueling the separatist movement in India. This is a textbook example of what the West wants and its countries to be united, but it doesn't respect India's sovereignty. If the West continues to support Pakistan on Jammu and Kashmir, India should start and fuel a secessionist movement in America. Since German secession movement is almost dead, it is difficult to survive. But America's secessionist movement is gaining momentum. Hope India notices this and gives America a taste of its own medicine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Nationalist Hub English channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to like and share this video. Nationalist Hub, it's a news revolution.